Hey guys, so Tyler from here and I'm the host of From the Fisherman. And today I'm going to do a quick boat tour on my Ranger Chief 380. So, here's what she looks like. So, got a nice Ranger Trail trailer, tandem axles, fiberglass fender, step. Uh, this is a bunk trailer. I really like the bunk. So it's a Ranger Chief 380. Got back here an Evinrude 150 XP V6. You know, this is the old two-stroke. Got a um, shooter prop on there. This this is a great prop. I really like it. Four blade. Makes for really good torque. So there's my shooter prop stickers. Swim ladder. You know, cleats all around. These nice rails. Good for mounting accessories, rod holders. So we climb up in here. Start right back here in the back. So I keep... Uh, right now I only have one box in here, but I can, I normally put two boxes back here. Just these are my big musky boxes. So, you know, I can keep a lot of baits in there. A lot of baits. I have more in the front, but, you know. Let me come back here. I got a toolbox, just keep different things. We have a bait well. I don't really use it. I just keep my anchors and stuff in there. Scotty rod holder, live well controls, this uh, little board, I guess it's supposed to be coming like a wave whacker, it doesn't work very good, water comes over when you go in reverse sometimes. Uh, Ranger seat, really comfy. This I really like, so this is the driver's seat, as you can see there's the console. Driver's seat here anyway, so it moves back and forth, so you can sit either backwards or forwards. And then uh, we have this huge... Live well, I'm not sure how many gallons it is, but it's pretty dang big. And moving on over here, I have a little light mounted. Yeah, pretty bright. Uh, then I have just a two rod rod storage. Keep my musky bump board right here, my light right here, and then my one. I keep like three musky rods there normally. I only have one there right now. Over on this side of the boat, we have pretty big rod locker you know right now it's not even close to fully loaded you can keep a lot of rods in there when it's um you know, if you use like rod socks then over here come to the consoles big steering wheel throttle right there all your controls gauges i have a lawrence blue water pro this is a flasher control is right here key kill kill switch. Uh, I keep this inverter right here that plugs into my cigarette lighter for charging my phone. I have a radio. Under the console, you know, I got a fire extinguisher, air horn. This is just a Goal Zero wireless headphones. Keep water. There's my smaller bump board. There's a big plastics bag. Uh, up here for the fish finder, I have a Hummingbird 688 HD CIHD sonar GPS down imaging. So it's a hummingbird five inch display. You know, all the nice, it's got pretty good features. I really like that. Um, so that's the KVD model. So it just comes with a couple of extra lures. Keep sunglasses up on the dash, the lures I was using, keys for the compartments, a couple of knives. Over here, moving on, I have this little rod rack mounted. So I just have these rods in here as an example. You know, you can just keep them in there. They pop out really easily, and you're ready to fish. So just keep a couple in there. Uh, moving on a little bit farther, up here, under seat storage. So this is stuff, you know, I keep hats in here, my raincoat, some extra reels, bug spray, uh, some crankbait boxes, spinnerbaits, line, uh, reels, you know, just all kinds of good stuff. I don't really use crankbaits that much, so that's why they're on the way bottom. Then up a little bit farther, I have a big cooler. You know, I keep all my drinks and stuff in there. Another Ranger seat. Speakers on each side. Cleats. There's the fuel tank right there. Up here, I keep all, you know, the majority of my tackle goes up here. Uh, tools are nice and accessible right on the top. Uh, you know, like Senkos, soft plastics, you know, stuff I use the most. You know, there's a box of crankbaits I would use a lot. Just tons of, there's tons of storage up in the front of this thing. 
And then over on this side, I have my net right here. I don't really use this very much, uh, you know, but you just, and there you go, you can scoop up your fish and then, this is just a cheap net. Like I said, I really only use it when I'm walleye fishing or when I get a fish that I can't flip. Normally I just flip my fish into the boat. Moving on a little bit farther up here, we have this little control panel. So I got trim up and down, an accessory switch I don't have anything on, and then my lights. Uh, there's the trolling motor receptacle. It just comes out. There's the receptacle. Um, I had another one of those lights mounted here and it broke off. Then, right here, got the Minn Kota Edge, 70 pound thrust, 24 volts. This works really good. It's not quite big enough. I think I'm gonna upgrade to uh, Fortrex 80 maybe next year. Uh, I've got a light, just the regular prop. As you can see, I broke the tip off when I hit a rock, so I didn't really like that. Uh, there's my side imaging transducer that goes for my Hummingbird Helix 5. This is a side imaging GPS down imaging unit. So there's the buttons right there. It's a really nice unit. I have a light right here. And that's about it for my boat.